Hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another stream. Tonight I'm going to be checking out some demos. As it says on the title screen here, specifically False Skies, Agent 64, and Windswept. Uh, normally I start the game off and then put them on screen, but False Sky starts with a story, like literally at the beginning. So, I'm going to have to show black screen first and then set it up. Or do this. I don't know why it's doing this. It's an OBS thing, I guess. It's very strange. Um, bam. Hopefully it changes. Oh, there it is. Bam. What was it that prompted their fall? Their oh god, it's going by too fast. It did set the text to go fast, so... I didn't know it was going to affect the, uh, the intro. Okay, so this game is very much a classic retro-style RPG game that, uh, the... The art, uh, the uh, art design of it really caught me. It looks so good and very cool. Millennia ago, the great city Garm stood at the heart of civilization. A lot of superlatives, a city with no equal, a city from which all poured forth. But its time in this world was soon to come to an end. A storm beyond any other had gathered over the city. Oh no, I might have to do voice acting here too. When it finally cleared, only the open sea remained. Two thousand years have passed since that terrible night, and yet reminders of its power still remain. But enough of that. Welcome to the Explorer Society of Mapor. I'm Mary, the head of operations here. Now then, let's get you sorted out. Now, uh, hmm, B. Blue? Hell yeah, let's go with blue. No. Ooh, ah, that's not what I wanted to happen. I'll go with it anyway. Give me a name. Um, I'm usually bad with coming up with names anyway, so I'll go with Henry. And that's it. The Explorer Society of Mapor is ready to receive its newest member. And Ward of Fort 2, it is time to join. Just yesterday, we found a way to get into the untouched heart of... Letagarm? Or, well, untouched by us. Monsters of all sorts ho roam its halls. Luckily, you won't be going in alone. One moment. Bell! Bell, this is Henry. You were looking for someone to tag along with you, correct? Sure. Mm. Hey, I wish I could do, like, a, a, a deep voice woman, uh, woman a, a deep woman voice, but I can't really. But, sure. You look awfully weedy. What does that even mean? <sighs> Again, I, I can't do a. Uh... But I can't be ex. I. But I can't expect someone to, uh, who just joined, to be on my level. Tactful as ever. Your goal is to find the throne of Letagarm and its priceless treasures. This is our best bet at making a strong showing at the discovery of at uh, the century of discovery. So good luck in there. Unfortunately, I have to get back to my poor. I'll let you get going. I think I kind of figured out. Well, we should be off. Get your bearings, then take the path up north. I'll be waiting for you there. Very cool. Oh, the scrolling kind of makes me sick, though. It's nothing to do with the game itself. It's a tradition that us adventurers sign off on these books whenever we come across them. I'm told that there's little to it, but I find it's reassuring to write down what I've done nonetheless. You didn't bring any, anything to heal yourself with? Take these. Ooh, received a tea tonic. Restores 50 HP. Ooh, received a tea cart. Restores 25 SP. 
When you get back to Mapor, be sure to stock up. You'll be thankful you did. Mm -hmm. Press this good one. Ah. Ooh. The tonic. Hi. I'm pretty sure I s I'm pretty sure I saw some horn figure skulk around here a while ago. Must have been seeing things. Do you know much about the ruins of Ledigarm? Oh. I see. I chide you for not reading much into them before you came here. But truth be told, it feels we've barely started uncovering this place's secrets. We've got word that the SRDG, the SRDG will haul us out if we go and get in a bad situation in the ruins. It's incredible the lengths they'll go to save people, even if they do go and charge for the service. Hold up. There's enemies ahead. Oh, it's just some gels. You feel comfortable fighting these on your own? Yeah. Great, I'll get out of your way. So, as you can see, the battle system is very much like old Final Fantasy. <laughs> I, I guess it's closer to Final... Yeah, it's, it's more Final Fantasy than Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest usually had a... Um, First person view. So, this is something. Well, oh, but uh, Final Fantasy is more side scrolling. I know there's other RPGs that have this kind of positioning to it, but um, this is already very cool. No special. Oh! Oh! What did you Oh. Dang. Yeah. Sometimes you just want something that's really simple, you know? And that's why I end up picking up games like this, because they're simple, very basic, but very fun at the same time. That went well enough. Anyway, it's best that you follow me closely through these ruins. Likely more gels in here. Hmm. There's no way to change the uh, positioning of the, uh... Oh, I get change the difficulty. Put it, put it on normal, please. Oh, it's on normal. Okay. Uh, uh, and then there's no way to. Hmm. I'm gonna move, gotta move my donation things out of the way. I don't want to because it fits so perfectly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to re like, change the size of it. Um, I'll put it above my head. There we go. Hopefully that won't be too distracting. I want to say this is closer to um, like Game Boy Color games more than something like on the NES or the SNES. Ugh, the stench of monsters is strong here. Henry, keep an eye on the meter in the bottom left. When it fills up, a monster attack is imminent. Make sure you're not blindsided by one happening, okay? But don't be too worried if you do fall in battle. As long as I stick around, you'll get back up no issue. Enough tutorializing. We have to. We have ruins to investigate. Yeah, just don't me. I'm controlling her, actually. Oh, there are random encounters. Bats! Sick of bats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's interesting.
<laughs> Alright, so she's hilariously overpowered. Ooh! Ooh, nice! Oh, cool. Tells me what um, weapons I'm best at. It doesn't... It doesn't seem to tell me what my special is, though, which is a little odd. Unless you just use it at random. What's her special? Evoke. Special defense lowered. Okay. At least that's what I assume SDF means. Ooh. So, this is the sealed off section. Uh, so, this is a sealed off section. Fared remarkably well for something that's easily 2,000 years old. Remember, we're looking for the throne. If I remember, old documents we unearthed had it past this room. Interesting, but we're not here for this. I'm trying to move it to see if that'll work. Wow. I forgot about the meter at the bottom. see why I wouldn't want to keep using this. Yeah. Nice. Yay! Ooh! That's definitely a fire type move, without question. Ooh! Okay! I'm not built to move this. Let's get going. Oh, come on! What the fuck? Uh, excuse me. See someone a moment ago? Actually, it doesn't matter. Let's get a move on.
Again, I don't see why I wouldn't just use this over and over. I didn't realize that this game is uh, runs in th at 30. No wonder it feels pretty choppy. That's that's really strange. The throne room should be up ahead. Before we head in there, are there any questions you'd like to ask? Me? I'm simply the most capable explorer the Mapor Exploration Society has. Not like that means much. There's plenty at my level up north, and anyone from Eo would trounce me. I'm an evoker, though, and that's a rare sight around here. Anything else you want to ask about? My poor? Surely you know about our hometown. But if it's my opinion on it you're asking about, it's fine. I have my conflicts about it, but I live there, so it can't be so bad. Let her go arm. This place, huh? Long ago, it was a neighboring city to our Mapor. Place was abandoned centuries ago, though, and this central section was grown over and forgotten about. I. I chide you for not knowing much, but it's not like Mapor's very good about its neighbors, past and present. That's all the society seems to be focused on nowadays. I'm surprised you'd even have anything left to ask. But to keep things brief, a lot of explorers wish to showcase their finds in a more public forum. Someone had the fantastic idea of crowning a winner at it, and it's become this awful arms race. Before we found this sealed area, we were planning on shipping over one of these ruins' pillars. Madness! Bah! It's gauche, and I don't like it. I'm a purist when it comes to exploration. Give me a backpack and a glass case to put things in, and I'll wander the world for you. This competitive aspect is poisonous. The Exploration Society? Thank Belle and some of her companions for setting it up. It's part of Mapor's big push to properly dig into its own history. Better to take the treasures of our ruins and tombs for ourselves rather than a foreign power, I'm told. All in all, it's still pretty small, but Mary's been pushing... snapping up new adventurers to come help it out. Mm -hmm. So, skill shot. Okay. RCV means recover. Evokers, they're a second tier class, so you won't have to worry about them for a while yet. But to be brief, as an evoker, I can equip the pact and change some of the skills I have access to. A tier 2 class, once you're experienced enough, you'll be able to change your class, layering it on top of your old one. You're just starting out though, so please don't worry about them just yet. Now let's get going, and just see what wonders we're bringing back home. Oh, I didn't see what she said, oops. This room's all but cleared out! The great, uh... The great discovery the Mapor Exploration Society was hoping for was not to be. Ooh, be a little overworld. The next day at my poor. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming up here on such short notice. It's a shame that the treasure we sought had vanished. But upon further thought, a collection of smaller relics would probably be more suitable. I'd rather you not try diving into the depths of Letigarm ruins alone, though. That won't be required. I've talked with the desk downstairs, and they seem fit to burst in with adventurers willing to join us. Head to the desk two floors down, and you'll be able to get some other recruits alongside you in no time. And with that, you're free to get going. You can now order your party and change equipment once you get more party members looking to those. Yay! Get on out there. Whoop. We have a lot of competition going into this century of discovery. The old building society, the Asian, Asian Archaeological Guild, but it's the uh, 
the Old Building Society, the Asian Archaeological Build, but it's the Royal I Ionic Society I worry about. Guess that's all. Okay, so if you hold the button, you could just speed through the text. That's pretty nice to know. You seem, you seem new. Are you feeling lost, a bit lost right now? Yeah. Oogie. The baby has arrived. My cat always joins me every stream. Oh. Uh, who are you? You may you may have noticed this already, but uh, but each class has a special skill. Let me uh, let me tell you each of what you have. Generalists get recover. Okay, so that's what I have. Knowing your options is vital to your victory. You know. Okay, cool. Change your party uh, composition. This reminds me of Fauna. Ooh. I'm thinking of the name. Because I want to put Fauna in there. Uh, but I want to see how I can play off of that name if I even can. Let me see what I can do with the name here. I should be able to change my character name, but it doesn't matter. If I if I were to play this game again, I would start from the beginning all over again anyway. Oh, you have to use your keyboard. You can't just use the controller for the looks of it. I, I'm sorry, I have to. Cool. Can I get another one? is purple. <laughs> purple is Murasaki uh, in Japanese, right?
a mix of Mage and Murasaki. And let's go with Fighter, Mail. Gotta go with Red, Eku. Baita. There we go. That's my team. Ogi. Oh, wow. Reserve, huh? Holy shit. That means I gotta have, like, more than this? Sure, let's go. Ooh! There's so much here, oh my goodness. Yeah! I mean, I'm, I'm more of a sucker for uh, playing it with just one character than having other people join me. Instead of building a party, or being given a party. automatically because I'm really bad with customization I'm, I'm very much a give me what I need and go sort of player when there are games that have like jobs and multiple jobs and stuff like that I don't exactly know how to uh, I don't exactly know how to play the game properly with that the <laughs> resident skip through a lot of this dialogue and I sh probably shouldn't be but I'm not saying anything that's really relevant This game is cool so far though, I'm enjoying it. I wish it would tell me... <laughs> I wish it would tell me what I already have. Oh.
Oh, uh, no, because I am pretty okay. I am not okay. Yeah, what the hell? Cool. All right, off to battle we go. Boogie. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, I like the cute little effect. Oh, there we go. Okay. I wish I was told what these special attacks do, man. Uh, other than going to a person and having them tell me what they are. So you learned a, uh, it was probably an ice move. Press shift when using free look on the world map, you can look around faster.
Ooh, okay, that's a real person. Uh, I'm overoccupied right now. If you have anything to say to me, come back another time. You might be important. Also, there's no way to change the controls either. So, I don't know what they mean by free look on the map. You should have a look at the world map. Go to your system and take a look at it. Oh. Oh! Okay. Midlands building, South K, Lodagama. Ogi. I thought it meant overworld, not the actual map. Sorry if I'm speeding through the dialogue here. But... They're not exactly saying much. And I got other demos to check out. Good thing I didn't have to waste money on buying one. told me you'd be coming back, but I wasn't expecting you to be so quick about it. Oh, sorry, I'm Jan, part of the Exploration Society's day-to-day -day actions. Oh, I think it's supposed to be a woman. I don't know. I can't really tell by the portrait. Now, onto important matters. We believe that there are copious artifacts to find in the un now unsealed section of the ruins. We can't expect you to grab every single one, though, so for now, grab at least two and come back here. I'll tell you what you should try to find, but I forget what's in vogue over at in... I say? At the moment. Ask around if you can and see if you can get more of an idea. God damn. Did I go in a circle and I didn't realize it? Oh. Oh. Oh no, I definitely was here earlier. Oh my god.
Wait, where did I start off from? Hold on a second. So it's not just me. This looks exactly familiar. <laughs> this looks exactly the same as the other area that I did this at. No, this is the exact same area. No, it's the exact same area. But did it just change over time? What happened? The treasure of Letagarm was not to be but a multitude of other artifacts await collection. It remains to be seen if the monsters of this place fall as easily without the help of a seasoned adventurer. Okay. Oh, I guess that's what happened, right? I did the thing and then it teleported me away from it. So, am I supposed to go through there again? Ooh. Whoa, what the hell is that? Surveyor. Okay. Archaeological site of. Oh! Hi! Oh, 
Okay, so I... South Gate sounds familiar, so I guess I have to go through Letagarm a second time. I guess I gotta go through here again. Because the game literally just took me out, teleported me to an entirely different area, then I had to restart from there again. I wish there was an auto attack. That would help a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. I, I, I'm not able to do a damn thing here. So... I know there was like a rock that she said, uh, Bell said she couldn't push. Maybe I have to play around with that. Far too heavy for you to move. So I, it's not like I could use all four uh, party members at once. Level up. I gotta work on getting to the south gate. I'm guessing. I have no idea. <laughs> I paid attention to what's being told to me, but the moment I look, I'm like, wait, this doesn't seem right. Thank you. 
the mallet sounded so good. Yay! Why not? Best off just waiting for Sun's director to cool down in order the gate reopen. Come on, what does that even mean? I can't seem to do anything else otherwise. See what we could do over here. Nothing. What's happening? Okay, so I have no idea what I need to do now. <laughs> I went everywhere, I did everything. Okay. Hmm. Cool. It doesn't appear to be much more I can do. I, I feel like I explored everywhere already. Kind of sad if I can't progress in an hour. I just don't know what to do. I feel like I've been everywhere already. And anywhere else I want to go just is blocked off. I feel like I am completely missing something, man, but I, I, I don't know what exactly. Um. Would 
Wait, what? Find a save point and call. The great treasure of Letagarm was not to be, but a multitude of other artifacts remain co await collection. It remains to be seen that the monsters of this place fall as easily without the help of a seasoned adventurer. Yeah, but what does that mean? And I went to Henge and nothing happened over there either. Season adventurer, huh? Telling me to go to Letagarm. I guess I'll check out the... Did I talk to you yet? I guess I'll check out the ruins one more time? Question mark? I don't know. I, I feel like I'm missing something here. Nothing happens. Ah! 
えー I feel so dumb But the game early was like yeah this doesn't matter don't worry about uh feel hella dumb. Really? Just... <laughs> Why couldn't it have just said, hey, make sure you go back there and find some pottery and glass? I feel so embarrassed that all it did was all I had to do was look at those things. I mean, this is what happens in the game earlier was like, oh, it's not nothing here is important. Let's just move on. And that's it. How was I supposed to know I had to come back here and just pick those up? Uh oh. from some unfortunate animal, huh? another paw.
Damn. I have to go through this way. Oh. What? Oh. <sighs> what voice did I give this person? I don't even know. Henry, we're glad you're all right. You were gone for an awfully long time. I also see you managed to do well in getting those artifacts. Let me take those for safekeeping. While you were gone, though, there's been an earthquake. Part of the ruins southwest have collapsed! I won't keep you any longer. Keep yourselves in order, then head southwest. I guess we're going southwest now. <laughs> Before I do that, let's go this far. What is that up there? Oh, okay. You're here, and not a moment too soon. We've had an, uh... Incident. <laughs> Several members of our team were around where that hole appeared, and they're currently in danger. We think they'll be okay once they're taken back out, but there's monsters down there, so there's no chance they're making it out themselves. You guys are the only members of the Explorer Society that can save them. Get your bearings, then head on in. We have to. Save. Get the. Bam. Hi. You see that thing moving over there? Don't go anywhere near it. I don't know. Sounds like a challenge to me. Ooh. Okay. Let's attack with fire. Let's smack it. Attack with frost and lance. That's what attack is. Bruh. Un 
here? Ooh, absolutely. Jesus. Iron one out of that too. Gotta fight the big guys. Oh my god! Okay, I did come down here. Oh, hi. Thank you. I'm really enjoying my time with this. It's uh, very cool. Oh, shit. He has Agni. Although it seems like uh, the ice move does more damage. Yeah, it does. What the fuck are those? Oh, 
Oh shit. At least there's no random encounters right now, that's good. How do I get to everyone else? Oh, word? Wait, if there are random encounters, how come that bar at the bottom isn't going up? brings me back up there, doesn't it? Oof. I it, is it positionally? What happens if I drop down here? Oh! Oh, it is positionally interesting. How do I get to him? Oh, this way. But that was not the case. Uh oh. Thank you all for, for thank you all for returning. And thank you all for returning back here in such short notice. I don't know what gender is supposed to be what with these. To be brief, something. I have I have stopped caring about reading. <laughs> Oh, I get to go?
What? It's Mary. Let's see what's gonna happen the next day. Because if it's nothing, then I'm just gonna switch to the next demo. What? Yeah. Dokey. Have to leave at the bottom, huh? Sun card. Oh wait, no, a, a sun card. I think that is going to do it for this game. I, I think it's pretty clear what this game is like and what it's about. And if you're into this type, where you get to play with a bunch of classes, have a ton of jobs and characters, and all this and that, I recommend it. It's very fun, and you can choose the difficulty, so you can make it as easy or hard as you want. And uh, it, it's simple and complex, much like the games of the past that are like this. And uh, yeah, check it out if you're into it. And that's going to be it for this demo, and I'll be right back to bring up the next one. See you in a bit. I don't know why the be, be Right Back screen is so broken all the time. Because it does this instead. What the fuck? I'm messing around now. There's a way to fix this, but I forget how. It really does just go with that into, instead of a black screen. <laughs> this sucks. I gotta figure out how to fix this uh, next time. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right back.
I'm trying to figure out how to also fix this. Uh, here, let's let's kill my VTuber model here, my PNG model. Oh, it won't close. The B right back screen keeps breaking, and I'm not sure why. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this live. I don't care. I don't know what to do with this. This is bad. Oh no, it's hella fucking broken in here too. Looks like I got it working now. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, also, fuck Unity. I feel like that should be made mention. Fuck Unity. Um, okay. Anyway. I was muted that whole time. I need to pull myself off a building. Streaming is hard! Anyway. Especially when the shit just breaks on you for no good reason out of nowhere. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Golly. 
So this game is called Agent 64 Spies Never Die. It is very much influenced. It is very much influenced by something like Golden Eye on the N64 and games of that type. Uh, control mod. But I can use my controller. Whatever, who cares? I guess I'll just use this. Uh, yeah, alright, so all that's good. Let's get into the story! Oh. Let's go with what's effectively easy mode, just to see how this game is like, you know what I mean? This is so cool because you never see games trying to have this kind of aesthetic. It's a uh, more polished N64 look. It's so fucking cool. I was immediately drawn to this the moment I saw it. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Mouse sensitivity. Okay, Q is to switch weapons or switch items. The number keys are for the guns. And E is to do the basic stuff. Whoa. Wait, can I have crosshairs? Oh my goodness. Uh. Reload is R, interact is F. Display settings. Nothing. Oh, so I don't have a um. Oh, I don't have a um. Oh my God, an aim mode or anything. Not aim mode. Um, crosshair. I don't like the way this looks. It's so glossy. <laughs> no, no. No. Yeah, this is better. So while it's influenced, <laughs> while it's influenced by um the N64 games, it's uh not entirely faithful to it. But I like this, this is very cool. Be nice that they died though. Oh, hi! There's no crouching either. Elevators are locked. Press two. Oh, okay. Oh, I ha oh, oh, this, this doesn't feel good. What? Oh, I don't like this. This, this is weird. Because, like, th this is weird because, like, it it's like if I'm using a trackball. So, I'm over here, and I slide my mouse this way. It goes like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Maybe it's supposed to replicate how it used to be, but I don't like it at all. Doesn't do anything. Whoa. Ooh, Ooh spicy.
What? <laughs> Didn't mean to kill him that way, but I got him. Oh, sugars. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Got him. I've been playing some hours with Widowmaker on Overwatch 2. I know how to snipe. Shooting at me. Ain't nobody here. Oh, hi. Thank you for your ammo. Ooh. He destroyed me. What the heck? Oh, that's fucking lame. You, you're not able to use the aim mode until that moment where the game tells you to. Appreciate the attempt at flanking me. Yes, I'm that guy that has to reload like every time I fire a shot. Oh. I guess that's why I died the last time. This game definitely plays dirty.
cool. There is no crouch to this game, is there? This game is, uh... Really influenced by the N64 games. Oh my goodness, hi! <laughs> Whoa. Can you use it? I cannot. Oh, you guys are the good guys, okay. I'm not entirely sure I had to save those guys, by the way. All I know is I'm just running in and killing dudes. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, oh my god. So fucking slow, dude. Oh, did my weapons just switch out? Fuck. Oh, hi. I feel like I could have chopped on the back. That would have been cool. Whoa. Okay. So that's it. <laughs> this is why I've been trying to do demos and batches because some games are super short. That was worth checking out. This game is very cool. Mm, if you if you miss the N64 uh, first person shooter games such as GoldenEye and the like like that uh, Definitely check this one out. This is very cool. I, I enjoyed my time that I enjoyed my time with it for the short time that I just played with it um, Off to oh, own oh, there's no I have to exit out of the game uh, Why is it doing that? There we go it's supposed to be a black screen. It's not so supposed to show my my head up there like that. I gotta figure out why it's doing that. <laughs> anyway, next one is going to be windswept. Let me pull that up. Uh, windswept. Windswept is similar to Donkey Kong Country, from my understanding. 
So let me try to throw that up here real quick. Three, two, one, bam! Yeah. Options, video, full screen. Oh no, it does the thing where it minimizes itself when it goes full screen. Um. Ooh, but changing it to six size is actually not completely horrible. The music is very Super Mario. The, uh, the sound effects is like Super Mario. It's pretty good. Let's uh, lower the master volume here. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Um. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at the ducky! Oh my goodness, look at the duck! I'd like to follow the race. Oh no. Oh, this is. Oh, this feels like it's gonna be a good one! To the goal. Oh, the controller vibration is crazy on this. Hold on a second. No, I, I, I don't really need vibration at all, honestly. Oh, that was a waste. Yes. Yatta! game looks super oh <gasps> turtle friend this game looks super cool it sounds great it's got excellent controls already oh man this is a uh this is a definite recommend oh that's so cool This got trick jumps to it. Uh oh. Oh, BYX. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, this is some advanced platforming here. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be done, but I guess I'll take a... Oh, they're not making it up there either. Collect the coins! Ooh. 
Oh boy, this is uh, one of those tricky platformers, eh? Oh, that might be a checkpoint actually. Reach the goal! Oh. Uh, B? No. Oh. Y. X. Embarrassing. Uh, 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 let it die and then let me do it over. Time's up. Yes. Yatta. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Oh, did I miss an E somewhere? Oh shit. Oh, it's up there. Oh fudge. Um. Oh, I was afraid of that. How do I get him back? Ah, oh, there he is. Oh. That's very cute. B? Nope. Ugh. Why? Ugh. Why? Jump. Okay, so... Oh shit, uh... Is there a way I can get to him? Oh! 
I, th I think I could. I think I know what to do there? Question mark? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I really gotta run all the way back to grab him from over here? Oh man, they give you limited checkpoints. That's crazy. I guess it doesn't work that way. Um. Whoa! How do I do this without dying? Controls are killing me, by the way. That and then X. X. Oh, I got it though. Suck my dick, game. I'm better than you. No! matter I got all of them right that does count right sure does yes sir Oh my god, they have the Subaru. They use the Subaru Duck Dance. Let's go. Oh. The baddies. I'm not entirely sure what the stars are supposed to represent. I hope they're not currency. Nice.
I don't want to do that. What? Yeah! Oh no, there's an M somewhere. Probably down here too. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually got that from there. I didn't think I was even touching it, too. Oh, I deserve that one! I can't even be man! Did not do that while well there. This is a remarkably cute game, by the way. I really enjoy this a lot. Ah, I say, as that happens. No, but the controls feel super fluent. Or fluid. Uh, characters are cute. Art design is great. I'm really bad. It's not a softy, <laughs> that's for sure. Why I just did that thing and that was a good idea. I gotta stop doing that. I'm really bad. I'm also curious about that empty area now. Collect the coins. Wah! Well, I've never been good at games like that. No, it's okay. And there's also no live systems or anything. almost got me too. Damn. Oh. He's gonna kill me if I touch him, right? Yep.
I feel like there's like a trick shot to it or something. I don't even know. Nice try, game. That's gonna happen. Fuck. Go, 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 go. I don't care. I guess I'll show up one more. Yeah. One more level. Uh oh. My controller did it again. No, man, something about this controller, which is the Hyperkin 360 controller, by the way, um, it just randomly fucking disconnects itself and now it's completely dead. For no reason. There we go. I, I don't know. The wired controller, too, has no excuse for disconnecting the way that it does. Boss fight? Wow. Whoa, well, yep. Yeah. That was quick. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, no! Get over here, you. Oh, what the fuck was that? Why is it doing that? Oop. Oh, okay, so... Alright, so it's a classic. Wait three times. Okay. One, two... Three. Boop. Okay. One, two, three. Boop. One, two, three. Whoa! That was it? So, I don't know what the purpose of these guys are, but apparently, you can just stay up here forever. I don't know if he's broken. Oh, okay, he guess he's not. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you got it, let's go. Awesome. Oh, well, perfect. Perfect timing. Excellent. So, that's gonna be for <laughs> kind of anticlimactic, but you know what? I played some pretty fun games tonight. I, I recommend all of them because they, they were all different and unique and uh, very, at the very least, very interesting. Um, and that's gonna be it for tonight. I'm glad I checked these all out. This is a lot of fun. Uh, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at GamingLeo90 and follow me here at RagingLeo to know when I go live. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.